What's up everybody, it's your boy JD back again with another video. You guys know what time it is. It's time to hop back in that time limited genius dark night. So we're about to go ahead and get into it, see what's in store for us today. But before we do, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I want to take support any further. Patreon link is in the description below. Also join the top of name membership and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a video or go live on the channel. So let's go ahead and get into it, man. So I must beg of you once more, man. Please allow me the life or death authority over all, including yourself. He is willing to brave all the peril and lead us to survival. That readiness. Of course, I wasn't wrong in my judgment of him. Knox is the paragon for all of us aspiring knights. And what is up with that one now? So, as I declare, <laughs> I will guide you away from this peril unless any of you object. If you deem yourself more capable, you will prove your worth against me. I will gladly yield my leadership to anyone worthy of it. In other words, uh, you you think you you think you better. Come on, step up to the plate and I'll box your ass and I'll knock you out. That long story short. And they like, yeah, you know what? We good. <laughs> they looked at it. They were like, you know what? You got it, bro. I ain't even fighting for it like that. Proclaim yourself the guardian of the royal blood. Ha. Huh. Should anything befall her, you shall face severe punishment. And that is stating it mildly. And even if you manage some success, that would be the extent of it. Some success. You just drank from a poison chalice, Knox. Unawares, apparently. Go on, sign. Your death warrant, you impulsive fool. You talking a lot of shit back there. For someone who 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 a background character. You talking a lot of stuff, my boy. Curses. What's that piercing gaze? I hear no objection. Henceforth, you are to heed my command, lest you incur punishment under military law. Here she go hating. Boy, she is a true blue hater, boy. I'm going to need her to calm down on that. We must, oh, we must first leave this clearing. Follow me. You do know where you're leading us to, yes? I have no talent for elucidation. You will follow me and all shall become clear. Y'all will probably faint if I tell you how many times I've played this chapter of the game. I mean, it's only natural. When I was a player from outside this goddamn game, <laughs> was practically my life. He said this game was practically my life. This goddamn conniving game. He like, yeah, I have no idea the troubles and the horror stories I went through with playing this goddamn thing. He just chilling on a. I, I know that mug ain't comfortable, my boy. I know it ain't comfortable. I mean, it's probably better than standing up the whole time, but I, I know this throne ain't comfortable, fam. Luxury. Swallow them all up, humans of Elendine. You are to knit them all in the bud. Hmm. If you do as I say,
I may bestow some of my power upon your worthless existence. Damn, not worthless. You gotta be a worthless existence. Thank you, my lord. I will ensure that you shall f not find my work disappointing. Oh, it's gonna be disappointing. Bring chaos to Elendine. Could there be a task more befitting of me? Above all, you shall pay the price for forsaking me. Lars von Celestia. He. Why are you focusing on him, I wonder? Why just on him? Or I guess he was just... Hmm. I guess I'll, I'll keep reading and find out. Curious, though. Why focus on him? It wouldn't have anything to do with his son, would it? Who knows? We ought to share duties now. You two will follow and assist me. He like, but I don't want to though. I don't, I don't even like it like that, dog. You did defeat me. I shall keep you company for a while. I will in oh, I will endeavor to be of best despite my clumsiness. I oh, will to be of help despite my clumsiness. Okay. Good. There are two of the strongest units at this point, and I got them by my side. And next. There are two ways by which we may escape these woods. Either the field of magic is shattered from the outside. Or we dismantle it from within by slaying the one who initiated it. But the latter way can be dangerous, most certainly, ma'am. But unfortunately, there is no third way. It would take Vernon two days to arrive, even if he rode straight from the Clario field to the woods. Two days, that's insane. Two days ride is insane. It would be wiser for us to seek it would be wiser for us to seek to dispose the castle of Dispel, all while ensuring our survival. Well, that's an understatement. From the get-go, waiting for Vernon has never been an option. It's not wiser to kill the Activator. That's the... That's the only way to get out. So it's not wiser to kill the Activator. That's the... Okay. So I must undo the devil man of the forest lecture. Let us first find food. Sometimes the, the dialogue will be killing you, boy. Very well, this shall suffice us for two days. Ho hope one of y'all know how to debate and all that good stuff. Hold on. Do you even know what these are? Precious young master. They are boys. Don't tell me you take issue with them. I must admit that you are skilled in swordcraft and such like, but you're clearly confused. This is no tranquil woods in your estate where you find lofty chums hunt for leisure. These are monsters. Their flesh is poisonous. I am well aware. I am equally aware that the grass around us is not to be consumed without caution. What is this nonsense? Did you knowingly suggest that we feast on poisonous meat, even if I haven't stooped so low in my days of hunger in the East? Have you no concern for the lasting stomachache we shall endure? Lasting stomachache is all you get from eating monster meat? I really shouldn't make this one my enemy. There is a way to neutralize the poison, and it doesn't require your jabbering. You like, you know, just... Knox, like, look, man, just trust 
in your boy okay trust in your boy and all shall be fine just just do that trust in your boy and all shall be fine believe in me lean on me Lion Ron Marcus, summon the undead and keep the ground safe from the monsters. Noted. And you shall guard the princess. I know that your sword wielding hand is as nimble as your prattling tongue. You son of a. I must beat you out of your wits once we get away from these woods. That boy say, boy, once we get out, I'm giving you the pawns. He like, you working on my everlasting nerve. Good. And now it's time for Boy, look at him, boy. Oh, Chef Knox in this bit. Yeah. Yeah, look at him. That boy slicing. Uh, that, yeah, that. They don't look appetizing. I gotta agree with them. They don't look appetizing. But I'm, my boy said, I know what I'm doing. What is that? Whatever is that color. Are we to survive? Oh, are we to survive that steak? My boy said, y'all know y'all know what y'all doing. Let me show y'all how to cook around here. Meat changed its color. The herb was for neutralizing the poison in the meat. The neutralize the neutralizing effect of crimson ray grass works against monsters of mid low or lower. Which is why the horn boar steak in front of you is perfectly fit for eating now. May we rest assured? I believe I once read about such grass. But how does he know all that? I doubt he has spent a single day in hunger, hunting for food in the wild. How would I know? Your Royal Highness. How well would you have, oh. How well would you have your steak cooked? Lightly or perhaps moderately? My boy say you want it rare, medium rare, medium well, well done, like medium, how, how you want it? Well done is not an option. Who, first of all, that's a good question. How do y'all eat y'all steak? Real, real quick, bro. Let, let your boy know. How y'all eat y'all steak? Do you eat it rare? Medium rare? Medium well done? Medium well? How y'all eat it? Me, medium rare. I'm a medium rare person. Um, well done. That's like chewing a tire. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's like chewing a tire, bro. Your jaws will get a workout. Um, but I know some people like it medium rare. You know, you, you like what you like. Me personally, I'm a medium rare. I, I like it to melt in my mouth, and that's that's what it do. That's, that's what that medium rare do. Medium's okay, you know. I can deal with medium. Anything past medium, I'm I'm like okay, it's we got to change something. But y'all, let me know how you eat your steak. According to the game, cooking a tail well done is how you ruin horn for meat. So they can't even cook it too well done even if they wanted to. Look at them. Look at them. Drooling. Y'all pathetic. Hey, why they why they hesitating? Y'all know y'all want some. Y'all know y'all want some, bro. Y'all ain't gotta be trying to act all cool and shit. Y'all know y'all hungry. I know y'all ain't eat all day. You skip you miss lunch. <laughs> Did you hear? Oh, do you hear me, headmistress? It is the doing of a devil man, of mid grade at least. We determined to be a dire situation that requires prompt action. At present, Celestia and I are right into oh, are right into the place where we believe our students to be. Hmm. It was an inevitable choice, inevitable choice, ma'am. All other capable professors are engaged in missions away from the campus. Who is, she? I know she is not eating, bro. I know she is not eating, fam. What's that, what's that, biscuits? He like, oh damn, what, she ain't eating biscuits? Impossible. Even someone as deranged as her must know this is no time for such indulgence. 
Are you having some biscuits, man? Oh, you hear that? Bro. 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 Bruh. They like. <laughs> they like. Out of all times, you like, fam. In any case, you need not distress yourselves. They will surely come back unscathed. But, ma'am. Had they, oh, had they been second years, we should not have been so alarmed. It is the first years that are lost, man. First years who joined us only a few days ago. They are the very picture of ignorance. Learning is right. They are untrained, even in most rudimentary defensive match. Did she hang up on him? She cut it. Of course she did. Curses, she leaves me no choice. Please stay safe. I'm coming for you. Vernon. Cadet Line Hammer, my cadet assistant. I swear to you, this shall not be your end. First of all, we're not your assistant. We didn't we didn't deny you like 20 million times, my boy. Hey, the shit out of that meat, goddamn. What is he pouring the, the boar blood for? Monsters know better than to roam where they catch the scent of a stronger monster's blood. I used to do the very same. Oh, I used to do the very same in my days in the east. Mark me. A traveler is the most vulnerable when camping. No less. Mr. Lionhaver. I must offer you my gratitude. It's all thanks to you that our class is out of harm's reach. I wouldn't go so far as to say so, ma'am. The woods team with monsters to cast out the spell whilst alive and above all, a long night lies ahead of us. I'm well aware. I only mean to say it is entirely thanks to you that we have yet to suffer any loss of life. In other words, put, put some respect on my boy, though. Y'all y'all still ain't putting some respect on him. I mean, you starting to, but the rest of them, they need to come on with it. And I hope you could forgive a chitinous lack of respect. I'll think about it. She is a victim of prejudice instilled in her against families of darkness. Oh, this can't be good. The royal princess is caring about amazing Lionhaber's feelings now. You need not concern yourself with my trifling sentiments. Even among the sons of darkness, I'm called a black sheep. I fear you risk your dignity merely by expressing gratitude to me. Indeed, that appears to be a popular opinion. But I must say, I think rather differently. If joining hands with the devil is the way to save more lives, I shall gladly do so. Did she just call us the devil, Loki? That is a rather daring statement, ma'am. I would. Did she really just call us the devil to our face? I mean, I know he doesn't care, but if that was me, I would be. I'll be a little offended. I'm going to be honest with you. It was a jest. Damn it. It was not. Her dangerous side is showing. Penelope Von Arkham, the eldest princess of the Empire. She is dubbed a benevolent princess, but it's not like she's without any darkness of character. Most notably, she is a hardcore you yeah, you yeah. <sighs> utilitarian. Util utilitarian. Y'all know what to say. Another dangerous side of her character is that she is the kind to willingly die for her beliefs. In other words, a benevolent princess can turn into a cold blooded princess any day. Hmm. A Libra scale is going kind of crazy, huh? 
Now, you will form groups of four. Each group will pitch a tent. I happen to have some fabric of, oh, I happen to have some fabric for tents. Come and collect your share. Thank goodness I brought my subspace pouch with me. Who just happens to have with him articles for tents at all times? It is little wonder. Word has it that the lion hammers push their children off a cliff when they reach five and rear only those who survive. Oh, come now. And now I finally get to know just how terrible our reputation is. <laughs> he like, damn, that's our reputation? They, they, Our family throws the kids off a cliff at five years old and only the ones that come back to survive, <laughs> they're the one who they... <laughs> <laughs> that's fucked up that's a crazy rumor that's a crazy rumor bro maybe I shouldn't be surprised we're a family of darkness still though like damn they yeah, family of darkness don't have any love whatsoever not even a tad bit of affection I should be careful careful of what no more whining. It's time to start acting like a man. never mind okay Constant business. You should keep. Oh, you should alternate in keeping the night watch. And I should get going. Here's the thing about episode two of the Ellen Dying chapter, the one that revolves around the Devil Man's attack, is is that it simply doesn't end until the Devil Man who casts the transfer magic dies. So he's going to look for Ledger. I'm assuming. Well, guess what that means? Yep, it means someone must go kill him. So, how are you gonna find him? That's the only way this story can move forward. I know he's played this, but he can't be in the same spot as he was in the game, huh? Ludger can't be in the exact same spot. That would be crazy. I mean, it would make sense he is, but... Given that it is a different... Yeah, he probably in the same spot. What was that noise? Rouse yourselves, everyone. they like, man, I was just getting a good sleep in. The Royal Highness. What is it, pray? Do explain. A vast swarm of monsters is rushing toward us. Your Royal Highness, please stand behind me. So, we are found. Of course, even the horn boar's blood is little use against monsters that are stronger. Precious young master, as a commander, what do you suggest that we... Nox is not here? He shall be away for a while before leaving here and trusting me with commanding authority. He like, I got this, bro. What? <laughs> she like, this boy just passing around authority like it ain't like it's a bag of cookies. Like, bro, come on, fam. She like, nah, bro. He shall be away after his grand <laughs> this grand speech on his resolve to protect Princess Penelope. Yes, but he did not flee, I assure you. And we are to take you at your word. Stop. Whether you have the command or not, this is far too many. This is dangerous. How about y'all shut up and work, worry less on Knox and focus on your survival at the current moment? How about that? Mr. Marbus, Ms. Zenos is right. We simply cannot stand so many monsters. Their number matters not. He like, I don't give a damn about their numbers. And I'm going to show you why. I'm going to show you why I don't give a damn about their numbers. An absurd amount of mana. Where on earth does it come from? Knox von Lionhaber. You stir my curiosity. I wonder who you are and why you haven't trusted me with this responsibility. 
I swear on the good name of the Marvis family that I lead. The outcome of this battle Oh, nice. Oh, we got we got knights. We got undead knights around here. I thought he just summoned the little skeletons. That's what's up. I didn't even know he had that in him. There go the little there go the regular bones. Okay, we got we got creatures of all kind. We got like ghouls. Flesh riding ghouls, got skeletons, and we got a whole nice out here. That's what I'm talking about. Rest solely upon me, Lion Von Marvitz. Right, we got we got other stuff to deal with. Y'all got this. You got two of the two of the other strongest people in here. Yeah, they got this. I gotta go do real people stuff. You know, I gotta actually save y'all bums from yourselves. From yourselves, I gotta save you bums. But that's it for today's video, man. Hope you guys enjoy. You did make sure to drop a like, sub to the channel. Let me know what you guys think about everything that happened in the comment section below. Also, you guys want to keep on me, Twitch, Twitter, Discord links, all of that is in the description as well. And I will catch you guys next time. Peace.